we want to solve the given trig equation tan squared x equals four sine squared x over the given interval. We will solve this equation by using a reciprocal identity for tangent x, where tangent x is equal to sine x divided by cosine x, and therefore tan squared x is equal to the square of sine x divided by cosine x. Let's also set the right side of the equation equal to zero by subtracting four sine squared x from both sides of the equation, which gives us minus four sine squared x. Let's write this as a fraction with the denominator of one, and this is equal to zero. And now simplifying, the square of sine x divided by cosine x is equal to sine squared x divided by cosine squared x. Now we want to subtract the fractions, and therefore we'll have to obtain a common denominator, which is cosine squared x. So we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by cosine squared x. So we have minus four sine squared x over one. And then again, we multiply the numerator and denominator by cosine squared x to obtain a common denominator. and this is still equal to zero. Notice now we have a common denominator of cosine squared x, and the numerator is sine squared x minus four sine squared x cosine squared x. And again, this is still equal to zero. From here, a fraction is equal to zero when the numerator is equal to zero and the denominator is non-zero. And therefore, the fraction on the left is equal to zero when the numerator of sine squared x minus four sine squared x cosine squared x is equal to zero and cosine squared x can't equal zero. To solve this equation, we will factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case is sine squared x. If we factor out sine squared x, we have sine squared x times the quantity one minus four cosine squared x. From here, notice how we have two factors, and therefore the product on the left is equal to zero when sine squared x is equal to zero, or one minus four cosine squared x is equal to zero. Let's continue on the next slide. For the first equation, to undo the squaring and solve for sine x, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. Remember, when square rooting both sides of the equation, we include a plus or minus on the right to make sure we get all of the solutions to the equation. The square root of sine squared x is equal to sine x, and plus or minus the square root of zero is just zero. And now for the second equation, we first solve for cosine squared x, by subtracting one on both sides, and then dividing by negative four, which gives us cosine squared x equals positive one-fourth. And now we take the square root of both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have cosine x equals plus or minus, the square root of one-fourth is one-half. So now we need to find all the angles that have a sine function value of zero, and a cosine function value of plus or minus one half over the given interval. Let's first do this using reference triangles, and then we'll verify on the unit circle. To solve sine x equals zero, we can't use reference triangles. We need to remember that on the unit circle, the y coordinate is equal to the sine function value, and y is zero along the x-axis. So on the unit circle, the sine function value is zero, at the ordered pair one comma zero on the positive x-axis, and the ordered pair negative one comma zero along the negative x-axis. And therefore, one angle would be this angle here of zero radians, and the second angle would be this angle here that measures 180 degrees, or pi radians. So two solutions, or x equals zero radians, or x equals pi radians. Notice how we are using zero radians, not two pi radians, because in the given interval, zero is included and two pi is not included. 
And now let's find the angles that have a cosine function value of plus or minus one half. Ignoring the plus or minus for a moment, having a cosine function value of one half should remind us of a 60 degree reference angle or a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle shown here where the cosine of 60 degrees or one third pyridians is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is one half. Which means to find all the angles over the interval from zero to two pi radians that have a cosine function value of plus or minus one half, we just sketch a reference angle of 60 degrees in each of the four quadrants. So here's the reference angle in the first quadrant and the corresponding reference triangle. Here's the reference angle in the second quadrant. And again, the corresponding reference triangle. And then in the third quadrant, And finally in the fourth quadrant. And now let's find the four angles. The angle in the first quadrant is 60 degrees, where 60 degrees is equal to one third pi radians. Remember to convert from degrees to radians, we multiply by pi divided by 180 degrees. In the second quadrant, we have this angle here, which is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. 120 degrees is equal to two thirds pi radians. And then we have the angle in the third quadrant, which is this angle here, which is 180 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is 240 degrees. 240 degrees is equal to four thirds pi radians. And then finally we have the angle in the fourth quadrant, which is this angle here which is 360 degrees minus 60 degrees, which is 300 degrees. 300 degrees is equal to 5 thirds pi radians. So we have a total of six solutions over the given interval. And again, let's verify this on the unit circle. Again, on the unit circle, x equals cosine theta, y equals sine theta. For sine x equals zero, we look for y coordinates of zero, which are here and here at zero radians and pi radians. And then for cosine x equals plus or minus one half, we look for x coordinates of positive one half or negative one half, which occur in each of the four quadrants, here for positive one half, here for negative one half, here for negative one half, and here for positive one half. Notice how the angles are pi over three radians or one third pi radians, two thirds pi radians, four thirds pi radians, and five thirds pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.